The following video is a lesson from my upcoming advanced front ends course, which will be releasing before 2024. You're going to learn how to create modern interactive front ends. And in this particular lesson video, you'll learn how to create this scroll animated SVG clipping text that reveals a video behind it. The product files are in the YouTube description. So let's get started. Welcome to this brand new lesson. And this time we're going to step away from split type because we've dedicated a few modules to, to that specifically. And we're going to talk about um, another SVG I, or text effect in the context of SVG. Um, so if I scroll down, we see we kind of have this very cool uh, cutout here that says ocean with you know extremely condensed letter spacing to make it interesting and kind of you know, thick so that you can see what's happening in the actual video behind it but what's cool is behind you know this is a mask essentially this is an svg text mask so it's a cutout anything behind this text which is svg text i you'll be able to see which is really, really cool. It opens up a world of possibilities. One of the cool use cases is to have video behind it and uh, because you wanna have movement or something behind it, otherwise you could just use plain text. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and let's get started. So our starting point is actually this file right here and it's blank, we don't see anything yet. So if you open up the before folder, folder you're going to see this all this right here. So of, of course, lately we're just starting with um, some smooth scroll with Lennis. Um, we have scroll trigger and GSAP imported. And here is our HTML. Let's talk about that real quick. We have an empty section because we wanna scroll into this. Then we have a section here. Now, there's a few things that are important about this, this right here, the setup. You definitely wanna make sure that you have preserve aspect ratio, um, Y mid, X mid, X mid, Y mid, that's, a tricky attribute to try to describe. So I'm not even going to try to describe it, but it does have to do with trying to make your SVG uh, responsive and fluid. Uh, so just understand that we may cover this in a later uh, chapter in this course. Then we have uh, our defs attribute where you put in your mask. All right, now we can see the text right here. There's a text element. You can't use this in regular HTML, but since we're working within an SVG, we can. And you can specify actual text in an SVG. And we can style it with CSS as well. So for instance, you see this text selector here. Well, if we choose, if we have our SVG, we're working within SAS, you'll see our text element right here. So we can specify a custom font, font weight, tra text transform, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Another very important element here is going to be uh, this rect right here. This rect right here, if we um, look at the CSS, we're giving it a fill of white, and then we're using the mask property with the URL of the ID mask. And the ID of mask is right here. All right, so that's what de defines this ocean type as being um, a mask, essentially. And we're applying it onto this rectangle right here, which is, it fills up the whole area, a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Now this fill, you can't make it any color you want uh, because it just won't work, but I'll show you that in a second. So in order for us to see behind the actual text mask at this point in time, let's just give this a background that's not white. Let's just do gray. So if I save that, you'll see if we uh, start over, we have a gray background and then we see the, the SVD, SVG, this white part. And then we can see anything behind it right here, which is this ocean graphic or ocean type rather. Um, so we could put anything literally behind this like with po position absolute or not. As long as this is position absolute with a higher Z index, then it'll sit on top of whatever you put in the background. And so one of the coolest ways, like I said, is just to put a video back there. So I'll show you that. I did not include the video HTML here. So the video HTML, I'm gonna paste this in is right here. So we have a video ID, or a video element rather, and then we have all these uh, attributes that say autoplay, plays inline, it's muted, we wanna loop it, we wanna preload, and poster, there's a custom poster graphic. Uh, we're just referencing a URL that somebody has already uploaded, like a, a, a proster for wild loads, and then we have a, a WebM version 
of this video and then also an MP4 version. So two sources inside of the video. Um, if we save this and we go back, look at that. That's because if we take this away, so let's say for instance we get rid of this SVG, save it. That's all it is. It's literally just positioned with CSS. So if I go over here and we look at video, this is the positioning with the 50 viewport width. I didn't want it to be extremely wide because it got kind of pixelated and we didn't need it to be big. Position absolute, Z index negative one, so it's behind the mask, top 50, and this kind of just centers it right here. So let's bring back this stuff right here. And there we go. Now you could just leave it like this and that's fine. Uh, but just to get more practice here with a uh, scroll trigger, let's try to make it fade in and come out uh, or fade in and, 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 and kind of just like grow in from a scale of like 0.5 or something like that. Um, so let's, let's, let's do that. But the actual purpose of this particular video here is to, to show you that you can create SVG mask text and then put stuff behind it, which is, you know, it's just one more tool in your toolkit as a front end developer of these highly interactive modern front ends that you can use where appropriate. So um, let's go over here. The first thing that we're going to do, oh, and also, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, for this video right here, um, here's a little JavaScript snippet that you can use. So const video, document query selector video, that's simple enough. Let's move this and get this situated correctly. Now what we say is if window match media method prefers reduced motion, then we're going to remove the attribute of autoplay and we're gonna pause it as well. So that's just an accessibility thing that makes sense to utilize uh, when you're working with video on websites. So we don't need a timeline for this because it's gonna be a simple scroll trigger tween. And I wanted to do this because we've used scroll trigger a lot already, but only in the context of a timeline, not a simple tween. And it really, it just behaves the same way, but we might as well do it. So we just say GSAP from, and we're gonna say text. So yes, we can actually specify uh, the actual um, SVG attributes in here, like this attribute right there. So we wanna get access to that and we wanna animate that. Now first we're gonna do a scroll trigger. Now if this was at the very top of a website, like this effect, you wouldn't have to have a scroll trigger by the way. So use this when necessary. We're assuming this is further down on a web page, and we wanna animate it based on scroll. So the trigger itself is gonna be the SVG container. The start is gonna to be top center. The end is gonna be bottom 20%. And we're gonna do a scrub of two, all right? So it's gonna take two seconds for it to scrub through the animation. This would be a scrub-based animation. We put a comma here. We're gonna say it's gonna come from 0.5. I didn't want it to go from zero because it just seemed too, too in your face. I uh, Let's put a comma there. Opacity will be zero. Transform origin, and we could set this, you know, in CSS, but we're just gonna put it here. Duration will be two seconds, and then the ease will be power four out. All right, so let's give this a shot and see what happens. Scroll up, refresh. There we go. Because it's scrub, you can see it'll stop right here, but because this is not a bunch of text and this is more of like a graphic, it's completely fine to make this based on a scrub animation. And by the way, that, that gray up there is pretty ugly. So let's uh, get rid of that, save it. Presumably you'd have content here, not a bunch of white space. We scroll down, ocean, and then we see the actual movie behind it.